It is time to talk perfumes. If you are in the mood to do just that, then stick around. Hi there, and welcome or welcome back to HMM Makeup or Hmm Makeup. Yes, today we are talking perfumes, we are not talking makeup, and this is actually a video that I have been hemming and hawing about doing for a while, and that is because I'm not really that much of a perfume person. And so I have saved samples, perfume samples, over the last two years to be able to have this conversation and to ultimately let you know out of everything that I tried, what I really didn't care for, what I really liked, and what I liked enough to buy. Now, uh, spoilers, some may have seen already what it is that I purchased in full size, but I suspect a number of you have not. I'm going to start with the duds and move to the increased frequency usage um, to ultimately show you what it is that I purchased. So let's go with what are to me duds and it does not mean that they are duds if you love them. Perfume is just like makeup and all sorts of other things. It's very personal. You like some stuff, you don't like some stuff. We have different body chemistry. It just depends, right? So uh, please don't take offense if I am poo-pooing a perfume that you love. It's just not my jam. So it's, that's it. It's, it would be so boring if we all liked the same thing. So let's jump right in with the least favorites. All right, I have a bunch of them here and there may be a few that are duplicates. So I may mention the same perfume uh, twice just because it's hard to keep these little samples all sorted out. Uh, there is this Gucci bamboo and I thought that it was okay. I didn't think anything fantastic. Yeah, I can't smell enough of it, but it, it didn't it didn't leave a, a lasting impression, obviously. Now, one that, it, that did leave a lasting impression was this My Fifth Avenue, and I know I have two of them, and that is from, I think, Elizabeth Arden. Old lady perfume. I was not interested in it at all. I finished the two samples just to be sure, um, but yeah, couldn't wait for it to, to be finished. Same thing, unfortunately, for the Watier perfume. It was just, to me, just a basic kind of run-of-the-mill perfume that just, yeah, I smelled kind of nice, but it just, it definitely would not be a signature scent for me whatsoever. Uh, the next one after that is the Marc Jacobs Decadence. Now, I did like Decadence more. I have Daisy as well. And out of the two, Decadence was better, but still not something that I would purchase. And here we go. I had a second one of Decadence. So I kind of liked it enough to ask for a second sample and kept using it. Uh, and there's also Daisy Love, which I think is a third one. But none of these from Marc Jacobs uh, do I like enough to purchase. But if I had to pick one, Decadence would be it. And then there was this one that I finished relatively recently, and it's Floral Street, uh, and it's Peony something, uh, Wonderland Peony. If you want to really smell like a flower, specifically a peony, you will with this perfume. Not my jam, but I cannot um, deny that it was a very strong and very specific scent, and I don't, I don't think that I would dislike it if I smelled it on someone, but it's floral sense is not kind of my thing. So uh, moving on, there was this Burberry, what's it called? Burberry Her. Didn't care for it all that much. So um, kind of made me think of a tailored suit as a scent. Not sure why that's what comes to mind, but uh, yeah, not, not my thing. I, I don't want to smell like the office. That's not my thing. Uh, this next one was this Eau de Toilette Azaro, and it's the Wanted Girl. I did not like this perfume at all. I think I like the Wanted, but not the Wanted Girl. Pretty sure I tried the Wanted. Not, I, I can't even talk, speak to the notes. It was just a perfume I just didn't like the smell of. And the next one is this Olympia Aqua... Paco Rabanne, uh, it's a light eau de toilette and I 
I didn't care for it. And next over is this Nomad from Chloe. Now Chloe is a brand of perfume that I have enjoyed some things from in the past, but uh, this Nomad was not my thing. And then finally, um, this Stella is one that I have still have the cardboard for, and I thought it was okay. I I thought the scent was okay but not good enough for me to want to repurchase. Take it for what it's worth. And another one that I'm not super crazy about is this Miss Dior. And I have a deluxe sample back here of the Miss Dior uh, perfume. And it's kind of like the Fifth Avenue and the Watier. It's just not a type of perfume that is of interest to me. It just feels like too much run of the mill. And now a couple of interesting ones. There's this Jo Malone, but it doesn't say which one. Oh, Peony and Blush Suede. So far, pretty much all of the Jo Malone fragrance, fragrances that I've tried, the, the samples I have liked. Uh, enough that I did spend 100 points on getting this Jo Malone Lime Basil and Mandarin. And ironically enough, it's a scent that I'm not super fond of compared to the other Jo Malone products, but I do still uh, enjoy wearing it. It's almost like, it's, it's like a, a cologne, but with a, a feminine twist, and I, I really do, I, I enjoy it. I, although it's not my favorite out of the whole offering of Jo Malone, I do appreciate their scents um, in general. And another brand that I really actually quite like their perfumes is uh, Juliet Has a Gun, and in this case, it's called the uh, Not a Perfume. And I do, I do enjoy perfumes from this line. Not enough for me to to purchase it, but it is in the back of my mind that I may want to get something from uh, this brand at some point. One final meh. And then we're getting into the really interesting stuff. So this is the Lancôme, I think Lancôme La Vie est Belle. And I finished up a deluxe sample, as you can see, but I would definitely not repurchase. And I think I have another one of these deluxe bottles to uh, tap into, and I, and I will, I'll use it up, um, but not a perfume that I would go out and seek out. Now this is a perfume that I don't have a deluxe sample of and I don't have a full size of, but I am very interested in. And this is the Giorgio Armani, almost hoping. Oh yeah, it smells so good. Uh, I have two of these and it is the My Way perfume and I have the little cardboard for it. I really do like this perfume a lot. When I had a chance to get a second sample, I pounced on it. So I really, I know I really like this perfume and I may try to get a mini of some sort of it at some point. Another perfume that I ended up liking was the Viva La Juicy from Juicy or yeah, Juicy Couture, I think it is. Yeah, Juicy Couture. So I ended up using four samples. And then when I had a chance, which is pretty recent, I ended up getting a Viva La Juicy uh, perfume, which was one of the deluxe samples in the Shoppers Drug Mart mega sample offering. I'll put that video right there for you. I'm very happy to have it, and I was actually using it this past month, which is why you see some usage there. I used this perfume for the better part of last month and enjoyed it. It does not have, on me anyway, it doesn't have much lasting power, which is not bad if you're going to be in an environment where perfume may not be tolerated all that much. This might be a nice perfume, at least on my body chemistry. It didn't stay very long on as, as, as far as the full potency of the perfume. And so if I want a lighter fragrance, this is one I can go to. And it is pretty light fruity. It's, it's, a, it's a nice scent and very different from anything else that I have perfume wise. Now we get to some of my favorites. I have some minis of the Mont Guerlain and it, this one is my favorite. And you would think, well, why do you only have three? Well, it's because I had a deluxe sample of it as well. So I managed to finish a whole one of these, which is a lot. Uh, it lasts a long time. And I have cracked into this one as well. 
and I liked it so much I have given away two of these uh, deluxe minis to a friend of mine just because I I like this perfume so much I wanted to share big time. So I still have this little mini. My other two that I had as backups are gone and part of what made it easier to uh, give that second sample, deluxe sample, to a friend is that this past year I, now this is not the eau de toilette, it is the eau de parfum, but that is what I uh, gifted to myself from Montgarlin because I like the scent so much. So I'm very happy to have uh, this full bottle uh, and I mean, I used so much of the samples, I was very sure that I liked the scent enough to get a full bottle. And it just smells... Can I open this? Ah, there we go. It just smells so wonderful. Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's a wonderful scent. I really, really like it and yeah, I just really like it. And another set of perfumes that I really quite enjoyed were the uh, Kat Von D Sinner and Saint perfumes. Now they came in as a set of two in these little guys, which is why I have a bunch of these white and black caps. Um, they're all, and they have the design on them, which I think is so nice. Just really pretty design for the white, the Saint and the Sinner. And I like, the, so this, the Sinner is my favorite out of the two, Saint and Sinner. And I liked it so much that I ended up getting two of the full size because I was worried they were going, they were getting sold out because they, they were so deeply discounted. So I got the full bottle and like I said, I got a second one of these, this full bottle. And the bottle itself is so beautiful and you pull the top off and that's where you see the spray and I liked it so much that I know that this is the perfume I would want to travel with so I ended up getting a travel spray bottle and it came as a set with the Sinner liquid lipstick as well which is kind of a purple lipstick so I'm very happy to have this on the go as well as my uh, full opened full-size bottle and my backup full-size bottle again in case they are discontinuing that perfume and finally I have one more that it's not my favorite my favorite is Montgarlin but it's so unique that it keeps calling me back and it's just such a unique fragrance that appeals to me and it is the Alien by Mugler. And I have these three samples and then this longer lasting sample that I ended up, of course, finishing all of them. And every time I would finish one, I would be so sad that I finished one. So I knew that I was pretty taken by this scent. And so that is the third type of perfume that I ended up uh, purchasing. And the bottle is really interesting. And uh, Mugler is one of the perfume types, this Alien by Mugler, where you have the option of just asking for a refill of your bottle as opposed to buying a new bottle, just, just going and getting a new bottle. And I think that environmentally it's a great option. And the smell of this perfume is, this is, my, this is a going out perfume. This is an everyday perfume, and Montgarlin is to me a wanting to feel my absolute best self, as in feeling the most like myself, is going to be the Montgarlin. They, they, have, they serve different purposes in my perfume collection. Now, if I were to add a fourth perfume to my collection, it would definitely be My Way by Giorgio Armani. I have been so impressed with, uh, with this perfume that if I had to have a fourth one, or if I wanted to have a fourth one, this is the one that I would go for. That's it. 
For Joe Malone, I think that I would go again for one of those deluxe samples. Uh, is there another one that I would... Viva La Juicy, I would probably go for another sample as well. And uh, Juliet Has a Gun, I would probably go for a sample as well. So I feel like I did a lot of homework, a lot of trying, and because of that, I have ended up with three scents that I really, really love. Now, am I done with checking out more perfumes? Absolutely not. I have a, a new love affair with scents, and I can't wait to try a bunch more perfumes, and that is why I have this pouch right here that is chock full, including some already favorites, chock full of a bunch of different perfumes to try. So I will be very busy in 2021 trying all of these different perfumes throughout the year. And I am hoping to give you a perfume roundup again at the very end of this year of 2021 or starting off on 2022. If you have any questions regarding the perfumes that I reviewed today, please let me know and yeah, we'll go from there. Thank you so much for watching this overall perfume roundup for 2020. And uh, yeah, I look forward to bringing you another one of these videos in about a year's time. And now what about you? I would love to hear what your favorite or group of favorite perfumes is, are, <laughs> please let me know in a comment what your go-to fragrances are, especially to find out about new or existing fragrances that I just haven't come across. That would be super helpful. So please leave me a comment. I would really appreciate it. I am somewhat of a newbie before this exploration and these three new favorites. I had experience with two, having purchased two types of perfume in my life and I'm in my mid 40s so I have a lot of exploring to do and would love any assistance that you want to provide. Thanks in advance.